This is a follow up of last week's video part number 13. Um, today, I will show you some of the predicted group versus the actual point of impact. Um, last week, I only show you one group. Today, I'm going to show you all four groups of the Noma Match 22. So the first group here is, uh, on the left is the predicted point of impact. Uh, notice there's only four shot. Uh, I uh, didn't save one of them. So one of the data um, is uh, duplicate data. It's a human error. So you can see the predicted four shots is pretty close to the actual point of impact. And then this is the second shot. Again, very close to the actual point of impact. You can see the L. And then the third group, you see there's a lot of horizontal dispersions, displacement. Um, the actual on the right, predicted on the left. That's pretty good match. And then there's that flyer over there, shot number 18. Um, I'm going to roll the tape, the video of uh, group number four. In particular, interest is shot number 18 and see why um, it moves so much. Okay, here's the MATLAB code. We will be looking at shot number 18 of the match 22 group number four. I'll open up number 18 to show you what the data looks like. The first column is the time. The second column is the um, chronograph. The third column is the gyro data. The fourth column is the X accelerometer. And the fifth column is the Y accelerometer data. So that's all the data that was captured at the range. So we'll run through the code to uh, load all the sensor data and then plot the X and Y displacement of the barrel. Hold on. Okay, so figure 21 is the actual tracking of the barrel movement. It's the X and Y movement of the barrel. So this is the X axis and this is the Y. And the units are in 10 to the minus fifth meters. So about a few decades of microns. It's very, very, very tiny movement. And you can see like there's a huge displacement um, of shot number 18, which it would explain the flyer there. So the, the barrel actually moved. It's not the bullet itself, it's the barrel. Okay, so that's figure 21. And then that's the predicted point of impact for uh, shot number 18, which is pretty close to the actual point of impact. Okay, let's run a different shot. Shot number 17. Let's run shot number 17 and compare that with shot number 18. We'll compare the uh, barrel uh, movement over time. Okay. So it is tracking the barrel movement in X and Y axis.
Okay, so that's where it exited the crown uh, in that position. So if you look at this displacement of shot number 17 and compare to, to shot number 18, uh, the movement of shot 17 is a lot lower than the movement of shot number 18. Okay, here's the side-by-side -side plot of the barrel movement for shot number 17 on the left and shot number 18 where the flyer is on the right. Notice the large displacement of the barrel of shot number 18 compared to shot number 17. Let's roll the tapes on shot number 18 of group 4 to see if we can detect the barrel movement. I slow down the video to make it easier to detect the barrel movement. I wonder if the bullet concentricity has to do with the barrel movement to the upper left corner. Before I leave tonight, I just wanted to show you two animations that I generated um, just to help you understand how um, the point of impact is predicted. The first uh, animation is just a concept of nodes and anti nodes in a barrel. And then the second uh, animation is the concept of um, Y displacement of one node versus two nodes. And in my measurements so far, I've measured about three nodes in my barrel. This is a demonstration of a standing wave with three nodes. Nodes are points within the standing waves that do not move. Notice the point of impact shifts as the number of nodes increases. Okay, there's several ways to determine the number of nodes in your barrel. Um, if you can measure the X and Y displacement, and if you have a gyro uh, on the end of your barrel. So the first thing to do is, um, based on the angle measurements, you can uh, determine the number of nodes uh, of your barrel and number two if you know the x and y displacement of your barrel um, what you need to do is estimate the number of nodes such that the angle of projection matches the point of impact uh, 50 yards away Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have and um, see you next time.